In this video, I'll demonstrate how to edit a copied staircase for your upper floor plans. I'll show you how to explode the staircase symbol, in case you didn't choose to explode it as you copied the level. Once the stair symbol has been exploded, it becomes a non-estimated collection of lines which can be adapted for the first floor plan. If you selected the exploded symbol option as you created the level, you can skip the first step of this video. I'll then show you how to adapt the staircase by deleting, trimming and extending the lines which make up the staircase symbol. To explode the symbol, click on one of the lines which makes up the staircase. If only the line you clicked on is highlighted, the symbol has already been exploded, so skip to the next step. If the whole staircase has been selected, as it has here, it needs to be exploded. Click the Modify and Selection tab and then click the Explode button. Once the staircase symbol has been exploded, you can select any of the individual lines. You can then delete or modify them as needed. I'm going to remove the bottom two treads of this staircase. I'm going to start by drawing a selection box around the bottom two treads from left to right. Only the items which are completely enclosed by the selection box will be selected. Press the delete key on the keyboard to delete these lines. Zoom in by scrolling the mouse wheel towards the screen. We can delete these shorter lines by clicking on them and pressing the delete key. Finally, we need to shorten or trim these lines here. To trim a line, first click on it to select the line. Next click on the blue handle at the end of the line. Now move your cursor to where you want the line to end. You should find an end point or an intersection point. Just click the left mouse button to trim the line. Then repeat this process for any other lines which need trimming. You can also extend lines to fill any gaps by following exactly the same process. Click on a line to select it, click on the handle at the end of the line and extend it to where you want it to end. By deleting, trimming and extending the lines in this way, you can adapt the staircase as you need. Now let's add an arrow to show the direction of the stairs. On the Drawing and Annotation tab, click the Arrows drop-down menu and select the Leader Arrow option. Find a midpoint on one of the stairs to place the leader end of the arrow, in other words, the arrow head. Click the left mouse button to place the arrow head. Find another midpoint for the tail end of the arrow. Then click the left mouse button to place the tail. Press the Escape key to finish drawing the arrow. Now we can add a label to accompany the arrow. On the Drawing and Annotation tab, click the Text drop-down menu and select the Text option. Type Down into the box and click OK. You're now ready to place the text on your staircase. Position the text where you want it and click the left mouse button to place the text. Once you've finished modifying the staircase, don't forget to save your drawing. Over to you. Have a go at modifying the staircase on an upper floor plan. If you didn't explode the staircase as you created the level, click on the staircase symbol to select it and then click the explode button on the modify and selection tab to break the symbol into its individual lines. Select and delete multiple lines by drawing a left to right selection box which completely encloses the lines you want to delete. Then press the delete key on your keyboard. You can delete any other lines you don't need by clicking on them and pressing the delete key. Finally trim and extend the lines to tidy up your staircase. Click on a line to highlight it, click the blue handle at the end of the line and then reposition it where you want it. It should only take a minute or two to get your staircase looking as it should.